Try to quad remesh. Right. You're gonna get to this point where it's gonna say uh, mesh needs to be manifold and have face is normally that point in consistent direction. Pretty much what it means is um, you have a very sloppy mesh. So I'm gonna show you in, in wireframe right here. As you can see, all this is a very old model when I first started. I just deformed it a lot just so nobody can really tell what it is. It looks like a freaking seawall or something. Um, but yeah, so here you can see in this area where all the um, the edges here are overlapping, they're just messy. In certain areas here, like right here, you got like a perfect mesh. That's nothing's overlapping right in this area. Well, you want your all right. So there's a couple things you need to do to remove all of that. Um, there's you need to remove all the overlapping pieces so like this is overlapping right here we got one edge two edge three edges you need to remove all of those you need to remove any holes that are in your actual design so i'm going to start by doing this first i'm going to go to my let's get out of here this is let's go to remesh right and you see remesh had removed a lot of that overlapping stuff but as you see we still have some loose pieces in here um, but the remesh should for the most part delete all your overlapping pieces I mean I don't even have my shape anymore but let's just go back to let's see what I can do here so I'm bring up the detail a little bit Right, so this was the original leg, the arms, and this is the the, the tail over here. Um, so now we've removed any overlapping pieces. So I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna apply that because I'm not too concerned about the artistic uh, value of this right now. I'm just trying to teach y'all how to quad remesh if you're running into a problem where it says you need to uh, make it manifold. Select everything. So what I did here, I click this up in here. This is the X-ray mode, so I can select everything, and then I'm going to go to the normal. I'm gonna relocate everything outside. So if anything is like, if we got any internal pieces, or we got any faces that are facing the wrong way, I'm gonna make everything outside, right? And then after that. I'm going to I'm go okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to join. Where's my join at? My merge. I'm gonna merge by distance. This is important to merge everything by distance. So if anything is like inside and all that. So we got the four things. We got the remesh is right here we got the mesh and we went to normal so we went to uh, relocate outside faces right so that's making all the faces that are pointing inside point outside right this form right here this is a uh, vertex select if you're in any of these other forms it will not show it to you ideally I was in the right area I just needed to switch modes so when you go to vertex select mode you'll be able to go to select you'll be able to go to select traits non-manifold traits right so you see these points that are popping up right here and I am going to delete those because I just dissolve edges dissolve vertices no that won't work delete vertices alright delete vertices right and then let's see if it quad remeshes right now. Yep, and there you go. That's how you do it. Showing quad re flow remesh right here. It's loading. And now it's going to destroy the whole thing, but just to show you how to quad remesh in the case that 
it's not letting you quad remesh. This is how you would allow yourself to quad remesh. And you see, now I have a new remeshed form, and that's it. That's really it. All right, guys, girls, thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment if you need help. I don't have all the answers. Please don't get mad at me if you try something and it doesn't work out for you.